Ugh. Oh, yes! Bitch, here I go! Bitch, here I go! She got fired from her job at McDonald's. I know. Girl. McDonald's has let she us down so many times. One of the first TikTok stars, you know? How you going? What the fuck? Big yawn. Big. See those teeth? Wow, Timbo. Hands in the mouth. <laughs> Lions and leopards. Boops. Boopy. Boop. Just touching Give me a little boop on the nose. Oh, arm in the mouth. That's cool with her little hair tie. I mean, <sighs> that thing could just chomp down. All gone. Murder you. Bye bye. So fast. There goes your arm. She's like, not this little guy. I've been with him since he was a cub. Doesn't matter. Okay. Siegfried and Roy. Siegfried and Ryan. I'm riding my Palomino pony through the planetary systems looking for a space cowboy. Me, me. <laughs> I know that would upset you. You think you could become this woman? Yeah, actually, I do. I feel a kinship. I do. I feel like, um, my when I get her age, it's it's going to be off the rails. Yeah, it's going to be five I dogs. I can see you doing that. Hey, I'm in the astral plane. A hundred percent crazy yeah. town. Yeah. Yep. Draco, you are hot, baby. You're sexy. I'm not lying to you. I'm not but you. You're sexy, babe. <laughs> um, I think he thinks that was just going to one person. <laughs> I don't think he understood the point. Of the talk. You're sexy, babe. I'm not lying to you. I'm not lying to you, babe. Hey, I got a singing telegram for you. Oh, boy. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Your sister Rose is dead. <laughs> that was pretty great. Hey, there you go. That was a good one. Yeah. yeah, I like that guy. See, gods have fun. That was a real fun one. That was one. a good one. Hey, I got a singing <laughs> telegram for you. But um but um bum your sister Rose is dead. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. That is pretty great. Yeah. Yeah. Super funny, right? My husband and I have been non monogamous for twelve years, and in that time period we've had two phases of monogamy. The first phase of monogamy <laughs> was when we were pregnant with our first child. Yeah. We we're moving cities. We were super excited to be parents. And I think that we never even planned it. We sort of woke up one day and realized, whoa, we've been monogamous for over a year now. Oh, a whole year with a kid. The second phase of monogamy was cool. actually my husband asking me to be monogamous for a period of time. I was having a lot of fun and going a little bit wild and probably dating a few too many people. It was starting to create distance between myself and my husband. It and happens. so he said to me he wanted me to tone it down and then I didn't I actually didn't tone it down when he asked me to and then he asked me to have a period of monogamy and we discussed it and I wanted to have time to kind of say goodbye and close off the relationships that I had started plural it was what I needed and felt like it was fair to the people I was seeing and then we took a phase of monogamy to really kind of focus on us again and make sure that we were super stable because for us the only way that non-monogamy works is when our foundation is really strong it's very sweet well, it's nice that they took that whole year off yeah. when they had their child. Yes. Because that's like, ugh, pregnancy. It's probably uh, not as fun swinging when you're pregnant or being non-monogamous. Yeah. And then a whole year. It's a long time. So that infant was like six, seven months old. Ugh, boring. God, I got to get out there. Got to get out there when you have a, a tiny baby. It's and then like, she goes, and then he asked me, and then I ramped it up. Yeah. I actually didn't. Yeah. How would you feel? At if, the end here, this these eyes look like, I don't know. There's something, you know what I mean? Like there's yeah. something happening. Like, it's not normal. Yeah. I mean, I have is to say. this what a page is all about too? Is, like, is it called like the poly page or something? Oh yeah, of course. This is the best. What's that? What's her handle? Openly c committed. Oh, that's as, as an insanity. Yeah. She's committed. Um, yeah. I mean, would you be upset if you asked me, to, for a period of monogamy and then i ramped it up instead yeah i'd be like hey i thought i asked you and then we said we're just gonna fuck each other now yeah and you were like no I'm, i feel like actually you know really getting out there <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i have i have to i have to say as a as a mom too like when you have tiny children 
Yeah. That's not what you're thinking about? Sex is usually not the top of the... She went a whole year. A whole year, you guys. She's like, yeah. It's just like, it just kind of happened. Well, yeah. Well, you know what they say. Same strokes to, uh, everybody's for everybody. Everybody's the same. Everyone's the same. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was fucking amazing, yeah. I think it'll be weird for the kid one day to be like, what the fuck? Oh, my God. What were you doing? Yeah, like, don't make a fucking TikTok about it. Yeah, exactly. At least, like, keep it under wraps. Just be shameful. Just be quiet. Quiet down, Mom. Yeah, you don't want everybody knowing. Why did you always put it out there? How much you fucked? It's so crazy. I know. There's an open record of this shit? That's what he'll be like. Why did you have to make videos about it? And she was I like, know. I just, it's how I expressed myself. <laughs> I hope it's not a boy. I knew I was going to prison and I was scared. I had no idea what to expect this is or cool. how to prepare. Good. I remember literally looking it up on the internet, like how, what to expect when you go to prison. And I couldn't find anything. And I still don't know if there's a whole lot of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and share with you guys how to prepare for prison and what to expect when you go. Ready? What to expect when you're expecting time. Wean yourself off of caffeine because if you go in there and you have no caffeine whatsoever, you're going to have the killerest headache you need to have somebody on the outside who is there to like be your person because you can't do anything in prison you're completely powerless you need to have somebody on the outside who can like go on the computer and see what your estimated release date is what your parole date is so have somebody lined up on the outside you're gonna need money on your books so it would be great if you could save up a little bit of money i would say a hundred dollars minimum so that as soon as you have an account, like an inmate account, that they can go ahead, this person that you've elected to be your person, they can go ahead and put your money on your books. So go ahead and get comfortable with being completely naked in front of a lot of people. It's going to happen. Kind of just get it out of your head and think about it. You know, like it's just something I got to do. And trust me, nobody is going to be looking at your fat rolls or like back hair and judging you like everybody is just kind of thinking about their self and how they look so no worries if you wear contacts or glasses go ahead and go in with glasses on because they will let you keep your glasses this is really optional but if you have like completely dyed hair it's going to grow out very uneven so maybe like go back to your base color start memorizing phone numbers yeah no cell phone if you have any like dental issues like a sore tooth or something or a cavity you've just been putting off get that taken care of pronto before you go into prison if you smoke cigarettes stop do what you can to get off the cigs oh my god stay tuned for part two i mean pretty and damn informative first of all i'm surprised there's no coffee in prison i did not know that it was a caffeine free environment that's like a, a, a you know primo thing that people learn to you know make in their cells like on oh. the dl like they get coffee packets and the, you know it's like a premium thing i would learn how to do that first and fucking foremost coffee? i would die without co everything else dental work don't care yeah fucking i don't care if i don't get a, a fritos but coffee? Yeah. Dude, take alcohol, but not my coffee. Coffee is rough to live without. Yeah, yeah. dog. But then I'm again, you. you don't need to get jacked up in prison. Like, That's true. To do what? But you, do, you don't get to like sleep in. They wake no. people up. So that kind of sucks. I think that's interesting to get your dental work done. Smart. That's good advice. This is really good for, if you're about to go to prison, I would listen <laughs> to what she said. And to get money on your commissary, because that's... Money on your com... That's the huge. hair one was great for women, you know, yeah. get your color back or your base color. But I didn't realize that with commissary, yeah, you because you need your basics. And if someone hasn't yeah. put money on your books, you're fucked. You can't get like anything, dude. Soap, probably toothbrush. Yeah. Well, my heart goes out to these ladies. They should at least make the ladies' prison nicer, right? Yeah. Do they do that? They should uh, get dental work. That sucks. These poor people. Like. Guys, my boyfriend came over <laughs> together with his friends and I am making them this stew, but I don't know if I should add a <laughs> bar or rice. Guys, please let me know in the comment section what do you think. <laughs> what do you think? This is a woman with has like 12 inch uh, nails and yeah. one of them has a fork attached to it. Yeah. And one of them is a fork. Yeah, it's a fork. Yeah. She's got a fork, fork nail. nail. Her middle finger's a fork. Yeah. <laughs> This is so insane. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I've never seen that before. No, me neither. That's pretty neat. Yeah. 
I mean, I've never look. I've seen Super a lot of stuff. Super long nails really just put me off, though. They make they're, me so uneasy. They're so dirty. I think. Yeah. Under it. Getting all that grime under your nails all the time. Yeah, and yeah. you can't type. You can't do anything. Yeah. That's gnarly. It's testicle time. Let's get right to it. Cut that shit in half, and then the meat comes right out, and you just. Mm. I just got Boom. the chill. It's so easy, guys. It's so easy. Just squeeze it out like this. Oh, fuck. Boom. Just got the chills. And this is all he does, right? Because we watched him eat brains before. Yeah. yeah, last week was brains, and now he's into testicles. And, I mean, I guess he likes it. He, he looks fit, right? Um, It's pretty gnarly for me, but. Yeah. I don't have a desire for that. No. No. I don't, you know, I don't mind cooking stuff. Like, I Would just, you eat balls? If, it, if they were seasoned, if they were cooked and seasoned properly, you can eat anything that's cooked and seasoned What properly. if they belong to twins? Ah, uh, the Winklevoss twins? Yeah, yeah. You got it. Yeah. Army Hammer's balls? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lamb fries, Rocky Mountain yeah. oysters. Yeah, you know, people eat everything, man. You tried them? I would have them if they were presented like this. I'd try yeah, it out. Yeah, fried. But, I mean, if it's like I had to cut them out of the sack, I think I'd pass it. Fuck that, <laughs> dude. That was rough. But honestly, eating anything raw Raw like is that, kind of, yeah, yeah. The raw brains is equally insane. Yeah. It's just fucking eating. Did you ever eat brains before? I don't think so. Uh, I've had Peruvian tongue. Peruvian stony brains? Uh, they might, but I, I mean, I don't remember having it. I've had heart. You know? I like heart. Yeah. I like chicken hearts, actually. It's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. My mom used to make cow brains for me, breaded, and I didn't know what they were for the longest time. And I asked one time, <laughs> she told me, and I was like, oh, never eating this shit again. I was about seven years old. And I was like, I'm done with cow brains, dude. How the it- fuck you feed me this <laughs> for seven years, dude? She didn't tell me. You say it like that, fucking bro, dude. I feel it now, but... I was like, what? Fucking done with this shit, bro. Yeah, bro. I was all, what, dude? I was all, nah. Hey, y'all. Let me show you why we saved empty toothpaste containers in prison. You're really into this prison shit. It's amazing. I like prison. It's interesting. Empty toothpaste containers in prison. I don't want to go there, but. Okay. I just think it's interesting when people survive like this. Yeah. I mean, look at this bitch, dude. What did she make? You'll see. This is a shower head is what it is. So um, in prison, the showers, the water just kind of, it's very weak flow and it kind of just shoots everywhere. So you can't really even rinse shampoo or conditioner out of your hair without using one of these. So uh, this is contraband. So officers can take this away and they can even write you a disciplinary case for this because contraband is anything altered from its original form. Um, most officers didn't really care about these, though. All right, see y'all later. <laughs> she seemed like a nice lady. They always do. It's always so funny. They to, always do. Like when you see, you go, could I imagine this person? And then you go, I don't think of this person as a prison no. type. And then you learn she's like, oh, it was a assault. It was a, you know. Something Aggravated weird. assault. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what the fuck you're looking at. It's always the one that, that looks normal, too. This is B-activation light language. There's a minute 40 of this left. You don't feel happier listening to this, watching this? I actually feel happier when I watch these light language videos. You feel nothing. Wow. (laughs) This is more focused B energy now. Yeah, I'm scrubbing through this. Well, now the hive is full. You found the queen bee. Calmer bee energy. Yeah. And see. Thank you. (laughs) I'd rather watch somebody eat testicles for an hour. (laughs) All right. So recently I've been getting a lot of comments. Uh, You guys are very concerned that my ears are going to snap. I'm not sure if you're saying that because you're genuinely concerned or you're just trying to kind of be be an asshole, Uh, but it doesn't work that way. They're super healthy. I've been stretching them for 15 years. They're not gonna just snap. I promise. The people whose ears snap take really bad care of them. 
And while I appreciate your concern, Jesus I've been Christ. doing this for a really long time, and I know what I'm doing. It's been over half my life that I've been doing this. And you never really know because people change their minds all the time, but I do feel as though my point of regret is way behind me. <laughs> if that were to happen, I think it would have happened by now. Yeah. This makes me happy and gives me confidence, and I'm not hurting anyone. Good. All right, on to the next one. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> you don't feel happier? You don't feel happier? No. I feel happier. Really? Yeah. Like this you like works when, you, on me. when you come across this? I do. The, the, the original light language lady I found, it, it works. I would feel her vibes and I'm like, I don't, I don't know why, but I enjoy it. She'd be like, I'm like, all right. I want to hate it, but I can't. Dude, those chicks ears are fucking wild. So if you ever want to talk about your fucking sentimentals and like shit like that, <laughs> get at me, fool. Because I'm more ovation, fool. Like, people look at me and they're like, she's more ovation. <laughs> I love her so She's much. She's awesome. She's good. Serio like. Serio. Serio. I wonder if she would uh, date a white boy, you know? She would if you Do were so. about her. Are you obsessed with me? Are you obsessed? Yeah. Are you about to be obsessed? Yeah, yeah. I'm Serio. Girl. Serio. Yeah. yeah. About to be obsessed. <laughs> She's so rad. So good. Um. <sighs> Ooh, mommy, did you enjoy that highlight? Why don't you have more fun? Click around. Click here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. Look. Try it out. Have more fun. Why don't you subscribe? That way, every time a video drops, you can be notified. You're not going to miss a moment of denim. Okay? Try it out. Be her.